So everyday feminism has come up with several articles that, well, are just retarded. Seven ways U.S. education isn't making the cut and how we can fix them. By the way, I'm going to be doing a couple of more videos, but they will be exclusive to the Patreons. If you would like to see these videos and all the other glorious videos that I have done that's behind the dreaded paywall, join my Patreon. For the low price of one dollar, one damn dollar a month, you can get all the glorious shit. All right. Seven ways U.S. education isn't making the cut and how we can fix them. Shouldn't it be how we can fix it? But whatever. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Publicly funded schools don't receive enough support. We spend more on education than any other Western country in the goddamn planet. How much more must we spend? The big problem is uh, education quality of the future leaders of our nation is a priority. The money we can make from them is uh, our education system is nothing more than a business model that sees students as a price tag and testing as the pinnacle of a student's worth and progress. Yeah. Also, the problem of a bunch of leftist dipshits like you thinking that every child is special and every child is the same. Creativity is always the first thing cut from the classroom. Education teachers structure, which isn't a bad thing. Without balance, it creates robots that seek to be fed stimuli and spit out answers and frustrates those that don't learn that way. Believe it or not, I tend to agree, but once again, I believe it was leftist Democrats that pushed for all these standardized testing and common core and grad standards and horse shit like that. And once again, every child is special. Every child is the same. So you kind of made this, uh, this was your own fucking making. Three, we don't teach emotional intelligence. That's because it doesn't exist. Fuck off. We don't teach true and diverse history. Oh, my God. You mean we don't teach, teach your progressive social justice garbage? More often than not, especially education, especially geography and history, is taught in a way that glorifies colonialization and Western ideas. Well, yeah, you're in the fucking West, and I'm sorry. Our ideas of freedom, liberty, equal economic opportunity are kind of the best ideas. Teaching students to carry pride for their superiorities, underemphasize their society's shortcomings, and be less accepting of people who are different than they. No, not all, not all fucking societies. Not all fucking cultures are equal. In fact, some suck. Islam comes to mind as one. As for glorifying colonialization, we did colonize. I don't know if we teach it in a way that glorifies it, just kind of is what it is. Problem with history, it's taught via textbook. And it's one story, one perspective. The events can be printed to a place, date, and time, but their lasting effects are told only from one. No one on the planet is affected by something like, oh, I don't know, slavery in this country. It ended 150 fucking years ago. No one alive today is affected by it. Also, what's to tell? History is history. There, there's 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 not much more than the perspective based on the historical facts available. In one case, Texas ruled to the to downplay the role of slavery in the cause of the U.S. Civil War. Slavery was not as big of a part of what caused the Civil War. Now, yes, it was a part, but it wasn't the big, all-encompassing part of it. 
most people fighting in the Confederate Army were not slave owners. In fact, only like 90, or only like, sorry, I think it was like 3%, 4% of Confederate officers were slave owners. Robert E. Lee, the leader of the South, hated slavery. Like 90, it was like 95%, something like that, some, of people fighting in the Confederate Army were not slave owners. Now, I'm fine with teaching them every, everything that led up to... Uh, the problem is, is that the Civil War had a lot more than just slavery leading up to it. We don't teach financial literacy and independence. That's because you people don't know what it is. Your government employees that, quite frankly, are way overpaid. We don't give students enough positive reinforcement. Really, you can't give a student an F. You can't tell a student that he's fucking stupid. You can't, you can't, you, you, schools can't even discipline kids anymore. And yes, I tend to believe that all these tests are retarded. I'm also a believer that homework is bullshit. Uh, we need more professional development and support for teachers. We already have it. Okay, so that ends this one. Seven bullshit ways that don't mean dick.